In this video, I want to show you two projectors that are battery powered, actually have built in speakers that sound good and can let you watch movies outside, maybe by the pool or while you're camping, watching without being plugged in in high definition. One of my favorite things to do around the spring and summertime is watch movies out by the pool while the kids are swimming. I bought a pretty inexpensive screen on Amazon. I'll put a link in the video description to that. Along with that screen, I got this inexpensive projector. Doesn't look that great, doesn't have great built-in speakers, but it did the job. I did have to wait till it got really dark, but now I've discovered the world of battery-powered projectors that actually look good in 1080p, plus they actually have HDMI ports so you can plug in something like an Apple TV and then AirPlay sound to Sonos speakers. I'll tell you about how I do that in my setup in just a moment. The two projectors I have is the 4Movie Dice Projector. This is a 1080p projector, 700 lumens. It does have an HDMI port you can use, but it also has built-in Android TV. So you can literally just stream directly on this projector Use the built-in speakers, and all you need is a screen or a wall, or just a sheet if you're watching the Super Bowl while you're camping. Yes, I did that. Plus, this one has a really nice little carrying handle, so bonus points for that. The second projector is an XGME Halo Plus. This is a 900 lumens projector, so slightly brighter. Also has built-in speakers, battery powered, battery sizes are about the same. Also has an HDMI port so you can plug in that Apple TV. And overall, pretty similar specs to the 4Movie Dice projector. But let's talk about picture quality. Coming from my cheap Amazon projector, both of these looked great, especially outside when it got dark. It has 1080p, so it's high definition, and projecting just on that inexpensive screen that was kind of waving in the wind, which made it difficult, it looked really good. Also, both of these projectors have auto-focusing and auto-keystone. My cheap projector definitely did not have that, but as soon as you point either of these projectors to a wall or a screen, it will automatically focus. And I have to say, the focusing was really good. Anytime you move it, if it detects that you've picked it up and put them back down, they will refocus. Auto keystoning is not as accurate as the focusing. I did have to make some manual adjustments to that, but overall, huge step up over some of those cheaper, inexpensive projectors, so you don't have to worry about focusing and getting it perfect every time. You can project from a wide variety of angles, and you can project up to 120 inches with either of these projectors, so you can get a really big picture. Right out of the box, I will say that the dice projector looked better, and it did not have true motion on, which the XGME Halo Plus had true motion on, Again, that might be an Android TV thing, not necessarily a projector thing, so I won't blame XGME, but I did turn that off immediately. And of course, if you plug an Apple TV into the HDMI port for either of these projectors, then you don't have to worry about what Android TV is doing with the picture. Now let's talk about sound. Typically, I would set up my Apple TV to AirPlay to Sonos speakers on my patio for sound in the movie. That works pretty well. I have a Sonos move. I can move around the pool. This way, if the kids want to hear while they're swimming, they can hear from that. You do have to turn it up pretty loud, but not having to worry about additional speakers is super nice. Both the Halo Plus and the Dice Projector have built-in speakers. The XGME touts Harman Kardon 5 watt speakers, which sounded pretty good, but I also have to give an edge to the Dice Projector for sound. The sound was louder, so I didn't have to max out the volume just for us to watch there on the patio, and I found it had a little more low end. It might be just the different cabinet design or the kind of speakers they're using, but the Dice Projector definitely sounded better, so I appreciated that. Now you can also use my typical setup, which is connect an Apple TV to the projector, and then the Apple TV can airplay to multiple Sonos speakers at the same time. So I choose a pair of 1SLs plus my Sonos Move, and you can actually pair two Sonos Moves together if you want stereo sound there, and you turn that up and you get pretty good sound. If you have a hot tub running and the pool going and kids are being loud, like you're not gonna hear much just because there's so much noise. But if you want a better sound, especially outside on a patio, maybe when you're camping, bringing a pair of Sonos Moves or just one can sound really good. Will definitely sound better than any of the built-in speakers of these projectors. When it comes to battery life, both of these projectors have similar sized batteries. They should last you through an entire two hour, maybe two and a half hour movie. But if you're watching the Lord of the Rings extended edition, battery's probably gonna run out. You do have the power cable. Of course, you just plug it in and it will start charging and you can keep it live. But don't expect that battery to last like a movie marathon. We're talking one-ish movie. Also another minor detail, I do prefer the XGME Halo Plus remote. Feels a little more sturdy. The volume buttons are kind of in a weird angular pattern, but that's okay. Just the remote feels a little better, a little more sturdy. The Dice Projector remote is really light, feels a little cheap, but again, it's the remote. You're just pressing the volume up and down and clicking play. When it comes to mounting these, they actually both have screws for a tripod on the bottom, which is really convenient. So you can just bring an inexpensive tripod, screw this on and mount it wherever. The XGME Halo Plus actually has this little tab here on the bottom where you can flip out and then it'll have a little more of an up angle. This way, if you don't have a tripod or a dedicated table, you'll be able to have a better angle at the screen. But either way, mount these to a tripod on the bottom or you can get one of the little projector stands I have on my patio. I'll put a link to that on Amazon in the description. All right, let's talk about pricing. Both of these, you'll probably see a $720 to $750 price range, especially if you're looking on Amazon. But there's often coupons that take hundreds of dollars off both of these projectors. Right now, the Halo Plus has just a minor coupon, 15% off. I'll put a link to Amazon in the video description. 
but the four movie dice projector actually has a $300 coupon on Amazon, at least right now as I'm recording. But if you missed that Amazon sale from June 8th to June 18th, 4Movie is actually having a sale on their website and you can use my code BEARDEDT, just letter T, 250, BEARDEDT250, and there's a link in the video description and you can get $250 off the projector directly on their website. With several hundred dollars off, I think the 4Movie dice projector is the value to go with. The sound is better, the picture looks great right out of the box, and it has a little carrying handle. I mean, that's worth a couple hundred bucks on its own. So I'd love to know, do you have an outside setup for projecting movies or things you like to do around the patio and pool? Let me know in the comments, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, you can get a sneak peek at some of the best features of iOS 17 and iPadOS 17 in my videos already up on the channel. I'll link one above and in the end screen that's coming up right now.